Hello, and welcome to our fifth blog in a series of six from Miss D. Carpenters. My name is Robert. Previous blogs have covered teak grading, quality plantation growth management, teak characteristics, and working with teak. Today we want to talk about applying finishes on teak. Finishes are very dependent on user preference and on the use of the teak. In many cases, if the use is highly specific, like in marine decking maintenance, it's best to talk to professionals in that area. However, as a rule, plantation teak is easier to finish and glue than old growth teak. The concentration of oils are generally less in plantation teak, thus making it easier to work with. Plantation teak is naturally beautiful if left without a finish. However, if exposed to sunlight, teak will weather to a silver color over a period of about a year. <coughs> See these two blocks I've got. The first one here is wood recently arrived to our warehouse from our kilns, and the second one here has been here about six months and shows distinct silvering having been out in the sunlight. Bare and weathered teak is well protected by its natural oils. If this silver look is not desired, then the silver color can be scrubbed or sanded out. We will talk more about this in a minute. If the wood is still new, it can be protected with teak, linseed, or tongue oil. There are a number of uh, commercial products available that uh, carry these types of oil. It's also very easy to find these in any hardware store. It is a good choice as well, however, it will tend to darken the wood slightly. You can see here the application of oil darkens the wood but brings out the natural grains. Also along here you can see in our FEQ products, our designer grade products or flooring, this is simply an application of tongue oil, uh, which does darken the wood but is still very beautiful. So again, it's primarily user preference. If you are going to use oil, they do need to be periodically reapplied to prevent the silvering of the teak if the wood is in an exterior environment. A further option to protect against the natural weathering of the teak is to simply apply a sealer. However, if you apply a sealer, then do not oil the teak as the sealer will prevent the oil from absorbing it and will likely reduce the effectiveness of the sealer as well. Stains can be applied to the plantation teak, though at most, we would suggest a semi-transparent stain so as to not cover up the beautiful texture and the grain of the wood. Sand the wood with a 220 grit sandpaper, then apply a commercial sealer with a rag. Let that sealer dry and then lightly sand again with a 220 grit sandpaper. This will reduce any blotchy pigment absorption of the stain into the wood. Teak is naturally water resistant and highly durable in exterior uses, so generally we recommend an oil stain. However, you can also use water-based stains, and if you do, you simply brush the stain on and then wipe off the excess. The longer you leave the excess stain on the surface, the darker the result will be. We do not recommend heavy varnishes, lacquers, etc. for exterior use. They will look beautiful, but the maintenance is very time consuming, and when the varnish breaks down, the resulting crumbly yellow look is not terribly appealing. Note that the breakdown does not damage the teak wood in any significant way, but the wood will need to be sanded to remove the varnish, and that's quite a bit of work. If you wish to clean the teak, remove stains, or reduce the weather look, you can use a homemade cleaning solution by simply mixing one cup of vinegar with a gallon of warm water. Allow the solution to soak in for 15 minutes and then use a sponge following a grain of wood. Don't use metal or harsh scrubbing pads or brushes as they can scratch the wood. A plastic bristle brush should be fine, especially if the teak is still in its rough surface. If you've got a tough stain, add a touch of bleach. So, if you've got any questions about the uses or properties of teak, including plantation teak, or if you are in the industry looking for quality, affordable alternatives to a legally or questionable chain of custody old growth Burmese teak, drop us a line here at this teak 
Or alternatively, check us out on the web at www.mystique.com. Thank you. Have a great good working day. Now please leave any comments you have below. And if this helps you, please give us a big thumbs up as well.